Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft ASP.NET MVC tutorial on how to make partial views and work with Ajax and jQuery. Let's start. I am in home controller now. In home controller, I will make a action result named list. We'll put a action result list. We will, which will take us to a list page. Let's create action result with name list. Action result with a function name list. This is for main view of listing. I have a student context, which have a student table. Uh, linked with our database let's see the definition of student context in student context there is db set student with students table let's see the definition of student also we have a student class with key SID student name student address and student form okay for our list we'll make a view let's make a view in home we will add a view we can directly add uh, by scaffolding also but I am using partial view so I will mm, put manually okay in home add view give name of view I will give list and we are not using any model now use default layout piece and click on add waiting uh, nothing nothing will be shown before um, let's check it out also keep this code in that list.cshtml it will use i enumerable with student table let's create it now at first when we see that list we will not see anything that is empty mm. Let's put something here. Still loading, still loading until that loads it up. Let's learn something here. Okay. In first line, we have used uh, a direct model with i enumerable. Uh, ASP tutorial is my project name, and in models folder, student is a class, and that uh, we are using a list here. Therefore, this i enumerable is used. I enumerable is for listing of any rows if we need multiple rows of student then we need to put i enumerable now after that a heading is there with list and i have used two levels one for top five students and another for top 10 students in top five students html level it is a simple level uh, this html dot level max uh, html 5 level 
and this is a helper in ASP.NET mm, the level caption will be top 5 experience and it has some HTML attributes with class show list uh, we have used class for click event uh, when user click on any of the levels then we will uh, call a jQuery function okay similarly there is a style uh, we have kept a cursor in each level so that user will click on that and see the result whether that is top 5 strength or top 10 strength similarly to send the data to jQuery function we have used data rows as a custom attributes for 5 strengths we have kept data rows equals to 5 and for 10 strengths we have used data rows equals to 10 ok this, this must make clear ok and at last we have kept a div with id student list container that is uh, list of students will display here in this div at first nothing will be displayed but when user click on that top 5 students or top 10 students level then the student list will be loaded in this div ok our list is like this before okay until now we have made a list action result and a list.chstml view okay let's add something more We have a script in list.chstml which is as follows. Uh, you can see it from here. We are using dot so list uh, dot click function. When user click on that uh, two levels, uh, <coughs> then we will uh, uh, call this function, which is kept in script tag. let's use this uh, script in our list.chstml ok why you we have used this we have used this to show the uh, list of students whether they are top 5 students or top 10 students when user clicks on that top 5 students uh, then that data rows will be 5 and we will get that rows number in uh, this dot get attribute data rows ok mm -hmm. let's see this function from start to end at first we have used dollar uh, dot so list this means we are uh, making a function for this yes this label named which has class name so list okay similarly it is a click function which works on clicking uh, and in second line we have a variable name rules underscore norm uh, which is equal to um, data rows which is given here that is data rows equals to 5 or data rows equals to 10 ok in next line we have a ajax call which will call the url whom slash 
underscore list this underscore list is also an action result we, which we will be making uh, later in this tutorial uh, and next is data to send in that action result we will send the rows number with uh, attribute id okay attribute or property you can say anything uh, you can say any parameter also uh, any argument also L let's say it is a parameter with rows number rows number we have got from here okay and in success function uh, when some data will be returned from partial view we will keep that data in student list underscore container uh, that is a div and that data will be replaced in that div that is we will use that data in this div student list container okay and in error it will display something went wrong in controller now let's make this action result in our uh, home controller okay Now in our home controller we have already made a uh, uh, action result with name list now we'll make uh, action result named underscore list you can give any name but I am giving underscore list for partial view for past purpose I have already checked it out and just copying it here okay here we have another action result which is for partial view and its name is underscore list um, with a parameter int id okay now here in first line we have used student context we will be which will connect uh, us with our database uh, and in second line we have a variable student list which will keep the list of students uh, db.students will get the students uh, from db.students and after that it will take the uh, id number of rows that is if id is passed with 5 we will get 5 uh, rows of students if id is 10 we will get 10 number of students uh, we will get number of students according to the past id uh, after that that is uh, student list variable will hold the list of students and in last line it will return a partial view which has a student list okay now we will make a partial view of this underscore list action result okay to make a partial view right click on this action result add view and give the name underscore list and after that give template list after that give model which model you want to use I have used student model and student context create this as a partial view check this button click on add after scaffolding uh, it will make a partial view with name underscore list dot CSHTML like this okay here in first line it has used that model I enumerable with my project name dot models dot students similarly it has display name in headings and in for each loop there are TDs with a student name a student address and a student phone and with some links of edit detail and delete okay let's see it how it looks now let's run it while 
this loads up let's see what had happened in our controller at first we have made an action result which is for main view of listing action result list and similarly in next action result we have made underscore list with parameter int id and according to that id strengths uh, are taken and that string list is passed into parcel view still loading actually this is not our list our list is in home slash list okay at first uh, we have shown this information top 5 strengths or top 10 strengths how much strengths we want I click on top 5 strengths let's see when I click on top 5 strengths it is showing 5 number of strengths yes there are 5 number of rows and when I click on top 10 strengths it must display 10 number of rows that is here are 10 number of rows in this way we can use the partial view okay mm, it have written partial view yes partial view strand list this partial view is uh, accepting a list therefore in partial view we have used i enumerable here if that was uh, if it expects a list then there must be i enumerable otherwise if it is uh, only one row then we can use simply modus dot strength we don't have to use i enumerable okay in this way we have finished off the partial view how to use partial view with ajax or jquery in asp.net mbc this partial view is returned back to our script in this way uh, that student list is uh, has arrived in this partial view and this partial view will finally be loaded in our div with this statement in success function that partial view data are come here in data variable and after that uh, dollar has student underscore list container this is a div name or div id and in that div uh, dot html that data will be replaced that is this data will be replaced with the uh, partial view of this underscore list dot html okay that's for now thanks for watching if any question or doubt you can ask me in comments or in, in any other ways you can ask thanks for watching